Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday, where this week we're going to show how to share and collaborate markups and comments from inside of eDrawings directly with inside of a SolidWorks document. This is great for communicating with external recipients of your eDrawings documents. So let's go ahead and dive right in. With inside of eDrawings, you'll find all the markup tools available on the markup tab on the left hand side. These include tools for adding things such as comments, circling different areas of a document, adding images, etc. Within this tab, you'll also notice the options selection. This is a great place where you can enter your name, contact phone number, email address, and even specify a unique color for your comments and markups used in, within inside of the eDrawing. This is great for when collaborating with multiple users in a single environment. At this point, you'd simply go ahead and comment and mark up your document just like you would any other. In this case, for example, you might notice that there's no center marks on this view. So I'm going to go ahead and add this as a revision cloud here. We'll go ahead and read just that size. Likewise, as we look around the drawing, you might notice here that there's a note to break all sharp edges. In this case, we might want to specify what is the default break size uh, for those sharp edges. And then finally, we might also want to zoom in and you'll see this letter A here. We might want to add a rectangle that this needs to be called out specifically because it references a GD and T symbol. So let's go ahead and add that as well. Now, when we return to our home view, all that's left is to return to the markup tab and choose to save the markup using the button at the top. At this point, you can select which user's comments you want to uh, submit with the markup file, and in this case, it's just me. Likewise, you could select all users if multiple people have commented on the same e-drawing. This is also useful if, you've re if an e-drawing has been sent to multiple users and you, the final recipient, just want to extract that information. All that's left at this point is to open up the SolidWorks drawing that this e-drawing was created from. I should point out at this point that this is currently only supported by SOLIDWORKS drawings, not parts and assemblies. To insert the eDrawings markup, you can either go to the Insert, eDrawings markup from the pull down menu, or using Command Search in the upper right hand corner, simply start typing markup and Insert markup will appear. When you choose this, all you'll have to do is select the file that we saved previously from eDrawings and all the markups appear on the drawing document. You'll also notice an eDrawing node appears in the Feature Manager tree listing each individual comment. You'll also see that you can right click on these and choose to zoom to the markup to take care of the potential issue. In this case it said we needed to go ahead and add center marks or center lines to this view. So let's go ahead and choose to add center lines to the entire view and press OK. Down here in the note we had a couple other comments that we needed to, to add. We needed to break all sharp edges. What is the default break size? We'll go ahead and set that to 0.3. Likewise, we wanted to change this to be a GD&T callout, so we'll simply from the property manager choose insert datum feature and press OK. Now at this point, we won't want any of these markups to be on our drawing, so all we have to do, we can right click and choose to delete the e-drawing markups or hide them. And as you can see, collaboration is a snap using eDrawings and SolidWorks drawings to quickly communicate this information.